My god, the sharpness. The color. The tasteful thickness. A little known new on the scene modder called Sarge has added a whole bunch of very fancy insect looking parts. And my god, Bugsy has never looked better. Rimrim's bug folk enthusiasts and other Discord Coomers, welcome back to the hive. A crispy, sharp, very lovely looking hive. I mean, except for, um, <laughs> except for Zomlob, who is horrifying. <laughs> horrifying in every way. Not only do we have some very crispy looking insects now, we also have a brand new insect implant to go along with it, the stinger implanter. This allows us to sting people with a disgusting injector stinger. It's still probably not enough to put some of you off, I will admit. Now, yesterday, our very lovely hive finally reached the medieval era. That doesn't mean too much in terms of our long-term hive plans, but what it does mean, Zomblob, is there is so much potential for bees. But we did, of course, start a massive project in the form of the Mantodian jelly. The problem with that is we need either a lot of meat, a lot of jelly, or, alternatively, we can use a lot of honey. I mean, how can we not? The bees make the honey, we take the honey and turn it into the jelly, and then with the jelly we can build the base, the furniture, everything we're going to possibly need. But along with expanding the hive, converting it over into disgusting hive jelly, and getting some new recruits here, and defending our best friends, the Kwama, nothing bad will ever happen to them. I, I promise. Along with all of those things, the main plan for the medieval era, and probably the early industrial era too, is making sure that we've got plenty of people. We've got a bee person, we've got a pig person, we've got a lizard person. We need to get one of everything, so that we can build those ultimate little insectoid workers. This was meant to be gene stealers, where we go around collecting people, adding them to the hive mind, psychically linking them with bugs in, and then using that to build the perfect insectoid nation. And then people thought it was a freaking waifu. Now, I think my first duty, and the duty of any good hive, is, of course, to the queen of the hive, little Bugsy herself. We've got to take a look at these mutagens. We've got to try and make her as perfect and powerful as possible. I mean, we made a good start yesterday, right, by buying all of the... Uh, buying all of those royalty upgrades, uh, or royal insect upgrades, I should say. We've got the pheromone secreta, synaptic cerebellum, and the ventricular sleeve. What if we go even further? All we need is meat and blue jelly. How do we make blue jelly? Oh, we make blue jelly by condensing down green jelly. Oh god, this is gonna get confusing. There's also dark green jelly, which we condense down from 100 regular jelly. Oh no. Now, some of these mutagens do take up the same slot. So, for example, I think it's the blue mutagen. Uh, you install it in the shoulder, front leg, left leg, etc. Um, but I believe the maroon one... Yeah, look, same sites to install it on. Okay, so this one reduces manipulation, but exchanges it for devastating blunt force trauma, apparently. Okay, that seems good. Um, does it actually say? Melee damage per second, 38.46. My god. What was that Scythe Luxembourg made? Uh, 17.65. I, I, I can see it now. We recruit Little Sidonia, who I wanted to have as our, our the, the first kind of warrior of the hive, and of course we make different uh, xenotypes too. I, I need Sidonia recruited as soon as possible so that we can start work on this warrior class. That actually sounds nuts. 38.46 melee damage per second. Bugsy is and will always be my top priority, so I've put together for little Bugsy a horrifying insectoid mutant shopping list. So we're gonna start with the white mutagen. That gives 50% immunity to gain speed. The purple mutagens are leg replacements. They are 125% body part efficiency. We've got one orange mutagen, which is a breathing sack that gives 150% efficiency, maybe to just the breathing stat, but more importantly, 60% toxic resistance, like insectoids in the base game. We've got two of the green mutagens, which are leg replacements at 130% each. Why would I go for that over the purple ones? Or does it not replace humanoid legs? Uh, right, okay, we, we need specifically leg, and that one does not have specifically leg. It's very confusing, don't worry about it. It's leg, but it's a lowercase leg, which isn't the right kind of leg. Don't worry about it, this is hexagons all over again. Then we have the black mutagen, which are eye replacements that also give consciousness, but they do cause pain. You have to be very careful giving Bugsy too much pain. We're a hive mind, everyone else will feel it if we're not... If we go a little overboard with things. And then finally, we've got the Ashen Mutagen that gives 20% uh, armor. Replaces the spine, so that's pretty nice. It will make Bugsy perfect, Derek Lodge. Oh, maybe I will make Bugsy perfect, Derek Lodge. <laughs> There's a better question. Is there anything safe to hunt out here? Um, we've got Ibex Doe, Ibex Ram. The Mega Sloth went wild. Who could have predicted that? Let's deal with that in a moment. Um, a Goose. We put the goose in Bugsy's new body parts. That seems fine. Oh, God, there's barely anything to hunt. This is called a real gamer move. Okay, hold on. 
Hold on, get, get him. Ah! Nice. Oh my god, that was a play. No, oh, Derek, not like this. Stop or I will shoot. The man's unstoppable. Zomblob is about to be ripped to pieces. Oh god. I wasn't expecting that to go quite that badly. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe web it up again. Bugsy hit him with a little, little, little web. Oh, please, sorry. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. How you doing? Anything ripped off? Couple of scratches. You'll be all right. And the whole hive will agree. Bugsy comes first. Let's suspend the lavish meals. Let's also cancel any meats being used in simple meals as well. There we go. Thank you, Buggo. High hopes. Very high hopes. How long have we got on that one? Why is no one tending to you? Luxembourg? Not the goose. <laughs> goose. <laughs> I mean... You've got to appreciate the candor, though, right? What can I do for my Kwama friends? I'm going to build them. All right, let's build a hedge wall around them. Now, in Morrowind, which is where the Kwama come from, they do build, effectively, mines for the Kwama so that the, the, the Kwama can be, can be kept safe. And then you can go get the eggs. Oh. I can't build up to the map edge, though. No, Ludion Studios, I don't think so. You don't get to decide if my Kwama are safe. Pods and hives. I love pods. Oh, but I hate the empire. <laughs> I want the hives, but I hate... Oh. She wants to draw the bugs to... Sold. I'll, I'll, we'll just kidnap one of their people again. It's fine. I'll just send them a load of trash bags or something. Are you spawning? No, not the freezer again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Tame insectoid. Mega spider. Go. Friends, not food. No, oh, shoot the others. Shoot the others. Shoot the others. Shoot that. Shoot that. Go. Friendly Mega Spider. Boom. There you go. Nice work. Okay, stop attacking. Sadly, we are going to have to kill some insectoids here. That is going to upset our... They've evolved already. Was he on the floor? Dead? I have no idea. Something blew up. It, it, it can fire out these... um The the smoke pops at a certain level. Oh, I'm sorry, Friendly Bug. I'm sorry. We could have been friends, but you've chosen violence. It's not your fault. It's just your nature. It's just your nature. Okay. Well, we can at least do something with the body. We won't let you go entirely to waste Noble Mega Spider. So they will evolve over time, and one of their powers is to uh, pop smoke like that. So future infestations could be a real pain. There was some great fan art in Discord for all of the bugs that hadn't been named. All of the other forgotten bugs. And you know what? They're getting named after it. Perfect. <laughs> what are we going to name the Broodmother, though? Oh, it looks so strange. I'm going to name you... Ghost. I'm going to name you Ghost. Ghost the horrifying bug. There's our hives from the Empire. Not that I want their dirty blood money, but I'll take it anyway. We got a Mega Spider out of it, so that's okay. I mean, this time around, we're not going to use any non-insectoid bionics, right? We're not going to use the specialized limbs, so I think we'll just keep that to sell. Oh! Wait, what? Bones is already our idea legend. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's set to convert, not convert, then recruit. Ah, oh, wow. Well, I mean, it couldn't have been long. Because I used the convert power on them when it was last off of cooldowns. That's fine. So, hang on. This means that you're going to recruit them immediately because their resistance is zero. Hey! That was good. Oh, Bones is a snob. Oh, you prick. So, remind me, Bones. What were you good at? Animal Lover is always good. Quick Sleeper is amazing. Academian is really good. And then Snob is, is, is fine. Not a problem at all. Mining 10 Double Passion and Intellectual 10 Critical. Well, and speaking of copious amounts of crap falling from the sky, another space battle. That's refreshing. Another one... Slightly south of the other two that have happened so far. To clarify, we're not actually playing on Empress Evil anymore because it stopped working. Probably from where I added about half a dozen mods. So I swapped Storyteller and cleared the queue manually in the save. Currently playing on Cassandra Classic. But now that it seems as if we're getting events again, I can flip it back over to Empress Evil. Which, I've got it. It's a bug. Turns out the bug Storyteller was bugged. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I'd get to it before I see that coming uh, non-stop for the next three days. Let's make sure that my Kwama are safe. What about the Kwama? Are they safe from the space battle? <laughs> I'm not really sure this hedge will make much of a difference. <laughs> no! No. Oh my god, I accidentally crushed a Kwama nest. Oh my god, they'll never forgive me. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I was supposed to defend them. <laughs> Imagine installing a mod so that you can keep them safe and then crushing them horribly with that same mod. <sighs> oh. I wonder if there's a limit to how close you can build because I, I, would, I would like to not do that. I would like to, if possible, throw down... Oh, let's give them a nice lawn. <laughs> 
let's give the Kwama a lovely garden. Really surprised it didn't set them as hostile either. They are a bit weird in that raiders can turn up on the other side of the map and they all go hostile. Then I literally cave a mountain in on their nest and they're, they're totally fine. Look at that. Nature is healing and a whole new Kwama has appeared. Great big horned Kwama. I think that's lovely. I give them a little path as well so that we can easily get down to the nest. We can connect all of this up to the actual main path that runs through the world map. Oh, let's swing that up there. Bees we can just build a beehive at this stage, can't we? Oh my god, look at all of this. So this is all the peony beehives, which we can't... Oh. Well, no, because we've got a necropeony. On a second, we've got a slight goose-based incident. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the toughest thing we've fought in about four episodes. Look, let's not worry about the Apini stuff for the time being, because there's a lot to do. Let's focus on the actual bees themselves, because they're really easy. We can just set them up, forget them, get the honey. That's going to contribute to the hive. Our hive. Not the beehive, as, as in, like, the hive wall. I think let's throw down another expansion out this way. And we'll transplant the prison again down into here. We'll turn this room into the bee room. Connects up to the nest. And I think it just kind of makes sense. Plus, that means if they want to escape from the prison, they do have to fight off a whole bunch of bees. Oh, I was warned about this in Discord. So apparently, whether it's intentional or whether it's a bug, <laughs> Empress Evil loves to throw in droughts. This is the first one we've had, but it is going to kill every single, every single plant on the map. Which, when you're a bunch of insect people trying to nurture bees and also not die horribly, it is potentially an enormous pain in the ass. And there's nothing we can really do about it besides sit here and watch all the plants die. Well, Dodo, my friend, I hope you enjoyed your very illuminating time in the barracks. <laughs> I really hope that that did uh, a lot for you. And now we can send him with a gift. We could just send him with a gift. It's a free gift for you as well. There you go. Oh, you can't actually, you can't actually load them with a, <laughs> with a free bug. Well, that's a shame. All right, off you go then. I don't even remember what we got for that. It was a pretty good gift though, right? Uh, Pollock seed, which is just a tree that reduces pollution. Right, that's it. The three artistic skill trainers. That's amazing. And to be fair, well, no, I don't really want to plant that, do I? I could give it to the, the my my Kwama friends, keep them safe from pollution, but then we can embrace the rest of it. And plus, I mean, it's a little bit of decoration, right? A conversion ritual on Zumlob. That seems fine. We've got an 18% chance of Masterful. I think it's I think it's worth the gamble. And, and I mean, look, we can actually get Zumlob converted pretty fast, unlike the other person. So I think this is worth it, just to make future conversion rituals even better. That seems a little bit pointless, making the insect person believe in insectoid people. I think, I think they're already fairly certain they're good on that. Do you think imprison them and then just... Ugh, fine. Come on. I'm sorry, Zellop. You just don't believe in insects quite enough. You need a little more self-confidence. Uh, the drought hasn't actually done as much damage as I expected. I think the thing that's really destroying our crops is this frigging butterfly. Let's get links out there to tame it because we should be able to. Um, tame insectoid. Butterfly. Hey, there you go. And an eclipse. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> My poor bloody crops stand no chance, do they? Oh, shit. Just as I decide to expand out where the insects can go to. Brilliant. Okay. The Black Hive. Hello. Man, I love those new nests so much. Uh, we can get ourselves another mammoth worm. I honestly think it'd be better to get one. Uh, you the ranged one. Oh, that's bloody horrible. I guess we'll try and hold them up this pass again. We'll throw down some rocks or something just to try and help out with that next time. Um, come on, squad. Let's bring the animals over. Oh, the Kwama feel threatened. Are they going to... The Kwama are going to attack the Black Hive. Go, my boys. Are they going to Are they going to head out? Melee attack Empress Butterfly 1. No, no, no. Don't do that. Wait. Are you going to attack? Yes. Counter attack? People like shoot back, though. <laughs> I think it's time we unleash our own animals as well. Get him. Get him, team. Attack. Please attack. Uh, Lynx, I want you to tame that one. They'll never see it coming. Oh, it's on cooldown. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, like, shoot that, though. Why are they not shooting automatically? Is it because it's an insect? Ooh, I don't like that. They are set to fire at will. Oh, why are you not attacking automatically, though? Just shoot the, shoot the bug. Is it because it's a bug that they just won't... They won't acquire the target automatically? Oh, come on. Come on. We're almost... At... No, no, go. Like, attack. Attack. Go. Move down. It's left. Honestly, the, the Kwama have basically dealt with all this raid for us. Mammoth Worm is going to attach the torch lamp, which will probably 
Is that going to trigger the Kwama? It is attacking the Kwama. There you go. Oh, that'll probably deal with the raid for us. Okay, everyone else back off. I love these guys so much. They have helped us so, so, so much. That raid complete. <laughs> Even though they're not officially our, our friends. There's an alliance there, right? We don't own them. We haven't got them tamed, but they, they know what we need. And I'm more than happy to help them. Might have already talked about this, but there is this Mantonian crafting mench that you build out of 75 of the jelly. Similar to the crafting spot with the benefit of it connecting up to a tool cabinet. So that's a direct upgrade. Got it making beeswax, which I guess will start replacing the floor with, right? It was the beeswax tiles, 50% flammability. Is that the best we can do? 50% on that one. And then this one. Oh, this one's zero, right? But it's 15 beeswax per tile. Ha! Ah. 2,000 a room. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, and were they particularly expensive to make? Uh, beeswax in bulk. It's wood and something else. It just says ingredients in ingredients. What specifically do you want, though? Hay, fungal mash, wood. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so as long as we stay on top of the wood and the fungal mash, which the... Uh, which the Kwama are going to make for us. In theory, we can get our floors replaced pretty damn fast. You know what? I'll increase that. Let's just keep making it till we maybe we've got like 2,000 of the bloody stuff then. Ooh. Make Mega Spider Helmet. Oh, I mean, obviously I'm going to give that to the, uh, to the new person when we finally one day get around to recruiting them. Where is the damn thing? Hey, where'd you put that? I wanted to have a look at it at least. <laughs> ah, well, oh, there it is. Ah, there you are. Uh, Mega Spider Helmet. Oh, it actually looks pretty crispy. Oh, that floor though. Oh, it's like a flashbang. Okay, we might have to repaint that one. <laughs> That's way too bright, my god. Why not populate every farming zone with an abundance of bees? Uh, like every farming zone. Well, I mean, every farming zone within reason. I've tried to keep them within the radius. We don't have to, uh, to, to specifically limit them to just that radius size. But those are the plants around it that they'll affect. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Now we've got to get a bunch of hives, which I think we may have already. We've got two. Why? Where are the rest of my hives? <laughs> well, I guess we'll make some uh, bee-related shelves down in what is now the bee room. Ah, oh, there we go. That's looking a little bit better. Let's get the bees extracted from that. And we might as well do that forever, too. And we're going to be unstoppable. Which we want on beekeeping? Who wants to be a beekeeper? Buggo drink! I mean, that's quite cool, isn't it? Um, Martin is okay. Counts as crafting, cooking, and intellectual. Oh, right, because, of course, you, you have to process the honey, which is probably where the cooking comes in here. Can Buggo do everything, though, even though he's just a good chef? So if we set him to do that, making jelly... He's still going to make jelly. Okay, fine. Can you do the beekeeping, though? Oh, yeah, that's fine. He, he's capable of doing it, even though he is just uh, a chef. Four mild queens, two temperate queens, and then a bunch of drones, too. Let's start filling it up. Let's go mild drone, temperate queen. Buggo drink the insect man, filling up beehives. So that we can use honey to build our own insect hive is so good. Wow. We're going to need a lot more bees. Just have them go out there and cut down all the hives as well. There might be a couple I missed. Okay, there we are. Uh, if we cut that now, even though it's not fully grown, we still get the hive from that? You presume so, right? Did, did you did you get it? No? I just killed innocent bees. Either way, we got a few more. Four more, four more drones, four more queens. There you go. Look at all my guys hanging around. My little insect fellas just hanging out. We've got a, a bug paradise. Look at them frolicking amongst the fields. Jelly, whoa, what jelly burner? Buns Mantonium jelly to produce heat. Large jelly cooler. They can reduce room temperatures to freezing. Oh my God, because with the passive coolers, we're limited to basically 17 degrees C. That's amazing. And then we've also got a jelly heater. Uh, 100 Mantonium 10 blue 30 chem. Obviously, we've got to throw one of these down. We can actually build a, a heater, uh, sorry, a freezer in the medieval era with that. All through bug power. And in fact, we've almost finished replacing all these bloody walls as well. Bugsy, can you wake up a second and finish off the hive for me? Because as soon as these final few hive walls are finished, I'm happy to go all in on the mutagens. The hive is perfect. So of course, Queen Bugsy needs to be perfect as well. So we'll queue up the blue jelly preemptively. Let's go uh, make it... My god, I thought it was a raid. Let's queue that up in bulk, and let's go... I don't think we need that much blue je jelly, and it's really expensive. Let's do it 50, but let's also suspend it for now. The Fearful Building. Hello. Dominion of Eternity. If it was anyone else, I could be persuaded. Insects in Rimworld Law were designed to destroy mechanoids. So that is something that we'll probably adjust about our people as we go along here. They're going to be our our top enemy, along with the Empire, of course. But the Empire is more of a personal thing. The mechanoids are more of just, uh, that's just nature. 
It's just a natural, natural enemy. Uh, allies in the crosshairs. For a silent neuroformer, for Bugsy. Shit. What do you want? You want three outlanders from a crypto sleep vault. Guard them. They will be hunted by mechanoids. Two raids of roughly this size. Nothing. <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely working, right? You can see where it was not working there for a while, but it seems to have woken up again, especially because we got this frigging drought. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go, I suppose. Sure, okay. Oh. What the hell's going on with you? You're scary. Nigella the bee. We defend three people for 10 days against what may or may not be mechanoids. And in return, they will, as, as clearly allies to insect folk, given that they have a fellow bee there, they will teach Bugsy how to uh, begin her path down the psychic powers. Yeah, I, I get the feeling Empress Evil really is just one of those annoying storytellers. <laughs> Lots of, uh... Lots of just kicking you around now and again. Well, I think I may do as well, given that I've got all the bugs uh, basically as free range now. I've given them all this area to run around in. There are, of course, two main areas where enemies can come into the map. I think let's run a pretty sizable hedge, maybe, maybe parallel to the main path that runs through the entire map. That way, if they want to come in, we can still... I mean, it's not going to cause too many issues with the raiders. It's a hedge, after all. But we can kind of corral them a little bit. And it'll give a, a nice boundary for our bugs, too. Do have to keep them safe, but that doesn't mean that they're they're incapable of any combat whatsoever. I'm going to arm these people. That way, if those mechanoids do ever turn up, we can be a little more... Oh, incapable of violent. Oh, why would you do this? There we go. That's the last of the Hive Wars, at least for now. All completely finished. Throwing down a few shelves just to keep track of the jelly a little bit better. Things I never thought I'd have to worry about doing. Uh, we've, we've, we've got more than enough now to craft the stuff, and I presume we've got more than enough meat. Yeah, we're plenty fine. Why are we not crafting it then? We need a higher... Crafting 8 cooking 3. Oh, surely our crafter has 3 cooking. Oh, shit. 2 cooking. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, let's just have you do the butchering. I know that the relevant average skill is very low, but I think that's probably the safest way to go about it. It's either that or food poisoning central for a little while. So I think that's the safest bet, right? And how much... What are you looking like? Just like 2... 2.08. Oh, God. Okay. Missing one corpse. I, Brother, there's a, there's a goose right there. I don't know what to tell you. Just eat the... Just eat the goose. Oh, I'm going to have to shoot a lot of hedgehogs to get that much cooking XP. <laughs> Let's just make some... Let's just make simple meals. Let's go uh, cook simple meal. Do forever. And then I suppose we'll just allow only Bugsy to do it. This seems like a really horrible idea, but I don't really have a choice. Oh, look, can work without electricity at 30% of the normal speed. I didn't bother queuing anything up because I thought we needed power for it. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, we need mild comb and temperate comb to kick things off. We just say do forever. That should let us get the wax, and then with the wax, we can do all sorts of fancy stuff. And, of course, the honey itself, right? Jelly cooler. You know what? Even if we don't get anything else today, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one. That's such a massive gain this early on. It's keeping it more or less oh you know what it's actually doing better with the passive coolers bizarrely i'll put one back it's just keeping it slightly above freezing Ooh, <gasps> because the bees here the bees working at the crafting bench which is making beeswax because of course we've locked our bee away at least temporarily any second now luxembourg is about to hit three cooking so we can make some fancy mutagens all they have to do is eat through 77 high food poisoning likelihood meals it's gonna be an interesting few days and done three cooking there you go you're free never to cook again i will keep the job there because chance error cooking skill will uh will drop down while we work on the mutagens and then in theory what well, now we've used to pull the meat cooking the fucking meals ah <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day we'll get mutagens. Bugsy's bedroom based on Discord light mode, apparently. Wow, that's fucking hideous. Let's try painting it a darker color. How does that look? I mean, it could look nice. It does look a little bit too much just like a wooden floor again. Though. What about this one? This one could look okay. I think that's decently dark enough where it also looks like it could be, could be wax. Maybe a little bit too orange. It's better, though. Oh! They did actually turn up. I wasn't expecting them to turn up, but they did turn up. The Zelioth Mech Hive. 
our first mechanoid raid. Well, we've got quite a squad ready to fight them. Let's see what we can do then. Come on, team. Let's be careful. And we've got insects. Insects hate mechanoids. That's the whole point. We've got a whole army of insects. My only concern is they may go for the Kwama and they may kill all the Kwama. What are you doing? Wandering. Oh! Don't go for the Kwama. Don't go for the Kwama. What are you doing? Are they... Att attacking Kwama's crib? Shit. Rhino revenge? What the hell? Oh, you moron. <laughs> Stupid rhino. Um, let's go. Let's go line up a little bit further away, I think. Try and stick behind that. Nice. There you go. Oh, the bugs are going to make such great work of them. Scarab one, thank you. Appreciate the help. Just shooting the Kwama, but they haven't actually hit any yet, so it hasn't activated the nest. That is good to know, though, that the Kwama will help if they're forced. Uh, honestly, just unleash the hounds, Smithers. Let them go to war. Look at this. Oh, Scarab, you are attacking the wrong base. Bugsy and Scarab want to form a bond. Bugsy named her Mandy. <laughs> Mandy the Scarab. No, Mandy! <laughs> Bugsy's I will not forget this day. Poor sweet Mandy. Slay them. Slay them, my bugs. Show them that we mean business. You have made a terrible mistake, you machine abominations. Adjacent to the throne room, what will we have? This will be a mighty hall of heroes. Mandy will be the first one remembered. We've just got to kill a few more mechanoids first. The second raid. What? Oh, they're all militants. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it is fine, but it's certainly a lot worse than 28 other mechanoids. Oh my god, they absolutely swarm the place. They're going after the Kwama. My beautiful boys, this is not going to happen. No more insect lives will be threatened this day. Kill them all. Oh, except for Ghost, apparently. Kill them all. Send in the animals. Oh, Ghost is dead. I'm not really that concerned. It was a bit creepy. I mean, even by bug standards, it was a bit creepy. I'm not even sure it was a bug. Get it. Give them mechanoids the plague. I presume the Kwama are just... Oh my god, they are absolutely annihilating them. Um, are you going to be fine? You're a friend. You are a Kwama. I presume the Kwama also aren't going to attack you. You know what? Just in case the Kwama are feeling threatened, let's respect them. Let's back off. Let's give them some space. They can deal with this. We didn't have to worry about it. They've got it very much under control. <laughs> Insect supremacy. The mechanoids have felt our wrath today. We lost Ghost. Which I'm not really that upset about, because Ghost was hideous. I am, of course, going to bury Ghost in the Hall of Champions. That was a brave insect that gave its life. Don't you dare question that. It's just an amazing sight, isn't it? Mountains of mechanoid corpses led next to a bunch of living, breathing insects. Are we allowed to go in and tend them? They're not going to get upset if we go in and tend them, are they? Nope, they seem absolutely fine. Insect together strong. Oh, there we are. That is a lot nicer. Joking. You're joking. They have really ramped it up now. We must have pissed off some real mechanoids. Hello there. Oh, that's not that bad at all. Four unstable power cells right next to all these turrets. And that'll go up like a firework. Titan sarcophagus. Oh, the perfect little burial pod for brave insect warriors. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Much appreciated. I thought I'm pretty we could only give bad events. Does that count as a neutral event then, I guess? There you are, Bugger Drink is burying Mandy. Entombed forever. Then Bugsy will bury Ghost. The two heroes of the first great mechanoid insect war. I mean, it's a sad but inevitable day. Insect and mechanoids have been enemies since the beginning of time. And there come the mech reinforcements. I think we'll give this a wide berth for a little while. And we'll come back and try and blow it all up in one fell swoop. We'll try and get some long range weapon. See if we could detonate one of these and set a chain reaction off. Ooh. I mean, it's not exactly the, the throne of Imperial Skulls that I expected, but Bugsy does at least have a throne. And there's the first mutagen. My god. Thank you, little Luxembourg. And the white mutagen was the one that gave 50% immunity gain speed. Get it installed into Bugsy immediately. Oh, I wonder if we even can, because it specifically says you have to install it into the acid gland, which Bugsy definitely does not have. Um... Can we install that in you? Is that possible? No. <laughs> Whoops, never mind. I presume the other stuff like the leg replacements and, and those type of things we can install. Those are the purple mutagens. Ah, there we go. Apply purple mutagen. Oh, that's so good. Go. 
Go, do it. Wait. Bugsy's medicine restriction, best quality medicine prevents doing this operation. Her best quality medicine is... Glitter tech. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you can't... That's that's not right. Wait, what? You can't... Wait, I have to use worse medicine. I don't I don't quite understand what I'm missing there. Oh, oh, because we have no medicine at all. Right, that, that makes things a little more clear. Here we go. The first ever insectoid mutation placed on Bugsy, not including all of the, the royal stuff. How do you... You're lucky. That's all I'm going to say, Luxembourg. You are very lucky. If we had some royal medicine right now, you'd be cut tended because of her ventricular sleeve. My god, it doesn't stop her bleeding out. It automatically tends cuts. Is it always set to 30% quality, though? Because that would be shit. <laughs> well, there we are. Wow, we learned something, though. I mean, it may have cost us a small fortune in resources, but we did learn something. So queue up another one now. Well, there is so much to do. So much to unpack. I was a little worried that until we got up to the whole genetic manipulation stuff over into the space rage, we wouldn't find much to do. And how wrong I've been. We've got bees. We've got insects. We've got insect weapons. We've got insect mutations. We've barely touched the Mantodian stuff because we don't actually have a bloody Mantodian. We've got all sorts of strange weapons and armor. There is just an enormous amount to do. Not to mention that as soon as we finish this quest in what can only be a few days at this point, shuttle rides in 1.1 days, we get a whole new bunch of psychic-based bug stuff to try and explore with Bugsy. And that is all going to be available, ready here on uh, youtube.com slash Mr. Samuel Streamer. I don't think that's actually it. I have no idea. All tomorrow at the same time, same place. Uh, well, presuming I'm not. I mean, there was an episode yesterday. Uh, well, more specifically, this was yesterday's episode that ended up being late because I had to try and find somewhere to live. That does, again, kind of take precedence because if I haven't got anywhere to live, I can't make any more videos. Thank you to the patrons. Whom allow me to continue making videos regardless having to worry about things like imminent homelessness. Thank you to Rock, Rest in Peace, Dodgy Dave, Arabs, Cryo Excess, Emoja, Slippy Nips, Cole Bacon, Kende Hajdu, Ken the Eagle, Somebody, Dan Cool W, Vionia, Lawbringer, Galupo, Tiny Magnus, Elaine, I am Sagatair, Texas Yardbird, Balman, Eric George, Buen Gun, Heathen, Q, Kawaladin, Thought Experiment, Christopher Peck, and Walter Moon for their support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for keeping things going despite my uh, occasional and more frequent absence as of recently. But it'll be over soon, I promise. Because people keep promising me that. I'm not calling them liars or anything. Thank you to Max Hadfield, Anna Foss, Donald, Jordan, 15J, Mike F. Blue, Col, Serena Krieg, Silver Chimes, Solacenzi, Epilogue, The RB Stream, Ristel, Nugsy Ballone, Amazing Moosh, Skunkalope, Matthew, Leech Queen, very appropriate, Juan Pablo Pepito, I'm OK, MJ, Adronius, A Good Chunk of Pulsar, Loom High, Rebecca Verrill, Elliot Cable, Chronic Idiocy, and. Arrogant awesome as well. See you all tomorrow.